Hi, welcome back to another Circuit Basics video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an Arduino controlled power outlet. With an Arduino controlled power outlet, you can use any sensor that you use on your Arduino to control the current supplied to any appliance that you would normally plug into your wall outlet. Like a coffee maker, a light bulb, or a fan. Anything that you plug into your wall outlet can be controlled with your Arduino which is great because you can use it for temperature control. If you use a thermistor to control the power outlet, then you can use it to turn, say, a fan on when it gets too hot or turn it off when the temperature is comfortable. I'm just going to briefly go over how I constructed the power outlet in this video. But for a more in-depth description, you definitely want to check out the article I wrote, and I'll link to that in the description. Definitely be careful with this project and any project that involves using high voltages. You definitely want to make sure everything is unplugged when you're working on the circuit and double check all your connections because high voltages can cause serious injury or even death. So with that out of the way, I'll just walk you through the steps of how I built this power outlet. So these are the parts I used to make the power outlet and pictures of each step. Get out the relay, connecting the signal and power lines for the relay, wiring the power cord, connecting the power cord to the relay, connecting the power cord to the outlet. Connecting the ground wire to the outlet. Connecting the neutral wire to the outlet. And connecting the hot wire from the relay to the outlet. And then installing the outlet into the box. And installing the cover. And it's finished. All right, I'll be using a DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor to control the outlet in this video. Here's the diagram we'll be using to connect it to the Arduino and the relay controlled power outlet. Here I have an Arduino, a breadboard, my relay controlled power outlet, and a light bulb plugged into the outlet. First, I'm gonna set up the wires for the DHT11. So I'm gonna use a jumper wire to connect the negative rail of the breadboard into another rail of the breadboard. Then I'm gonna take another jumper wire and connect the positive rail of the breadboard into another rail in the breadboard. Then I'm gonna take another jumper wire, which will be the signal wire from the DHT11 and insert that into digital pin seven of the Arduino and insert the DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor into the breadboard. Now I'm going to connect the 5 volt wire from the power outlet relay to the positive rail of the breadboard. Then I'm going to connect the ground wire of the outlet relay into the negative rail of the breadboard. Next I'll connect the signal wire of the relay into digital pin 8 of the Arduino. Finally I'll connect the breadboard up to the Arduino with a jumper wire from the ground pin of the Arduino into the negative rail of the breadboard and another jumper wire from the 5 volt pin of the Arduino into the positive rail of the breadboard. Now that everything's connected we can upload the code to the Arduino and I've included a simple program in the blog post as well. So we'll just copy this. We'll open up the Arduino IDE. We'll 
paste that in there. And then upload. So in this program, I have the threshold at which the relay turns on and off set at the humidity value of 40%. And I'll open up the serial monitor to display the readings while well, I put a moist paper towel over the DHT11. And you can see the humidity goes from 35% up to 38, and then finally up to 40, at which point the light bulb turns off. As soon as we remove the wet paper towel, the light bulb turns on. So in this program, I have it set that if the humidity is less than or equal to 40%, then the relay will be switched on. And if the humidity is greater than 40%, then the relay will be switched off. So if DHT humidity is less than or equal to 40, then we will send a high voltage signal from the digital pin 10 of the Arduino to the signal pin of the relay, which will activate it and let current flow through it, sending power to the light bulb. If the humidity is greater than 40, then we will send a low voltage signal to digital pin 10 of the Arduino, which will switch the relay off and current will not flow to the light bulb. Now I just used humidity because it was a little bit easier to demonstrate than temperature, but you can certainly use temperature in place of humidity. Just switch out dht.humidity with dht.temperature. You can change the value here, or if you need the temperature or humidity to turn off the relay, just switch this to low. or switch this to high. And you can use greater than, less than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. You'll just have to play around with it to get the effect you want. All right, well, thanks for watching. That's about it. So if you like this, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming out. And I hope to see you in the future. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.